Well, hello there. This is Diamond from Diamond Shine Soap. Guys, I just want to say, I want to give you a special welcome today. Welcome to the studio. The studio is so full right now. Like, I've been making candles like crazy. You know, listen, sometimes we can complain about some things, and sometimes we can just thank God for some things. I just want to say thank you, Jesus, right now, because I've gotten a whole lot of business from these candles and making these videos. A lot of you guys that's um, watching the videos, sometimes you'd be like, oh, I want to order one and you order them i just got some random orders from people that i have no idea who, who they are so i just want to just tell you guys thank you and thank you for supporting me guys while before we get into this uh video i have quite a few videos that i'm going to be making between tonight and tomorrow and monday if you have the ability to use your fingers which i believe you do go ahead and hit the subscribe button do not forget to subscribe to the channel because you do not want to miss the things that we're going to be doing on here okay so without further ado guys i want to show you what we will be doing today look at this wonderful drink candle it is beautiful oh my god look at it it's orange sickle cream Woo! <laughs> I love it. You love it. We're going to be making this today. We are. We will be using some gel. I love playing with gel. Like, guys, it's just so much fun just to play with gel. Just want to just smack somebody with it. All right, don't smack them. Well, listen, <laughs> get you some fragrance. And listen, you cannot use any fragrance for gel. What I did learn was you have to have gel safe fragrance. I cannot say that enough. You definitely cannot just use any fragrance. I had to learn that the hard way. So um, get you some gel safe fragrance. Also, you're gonna need uh, a Presto pot. You're gonna need to put this on straight heat. You're gonna need your heat gun because gel cannot be double boiled. So that's something you have to learn like right now, right here, right now. You cannot double boil your gel. Gel has to be put on direct heat. Um, guys, listen, if you wanna know what kind of fragrance I'm using, or how do I mix my fragrances to get all of these fragrances, or you know, what's the vendor for my boxes? What's the vendor for this? And what's the vendor where I get cheap fragrances? How do you get fragrances for this amount of money? If you need all of that information, during the week I do coaching sessions. If you having a problem with wicking your candles, getting your business started, getting it off the ground, you need information on everything the supplies for pop-up shops you need all of it listen $45 can change your life and I cannot stress this enough like we can be cheap in many areas but you have to take it from a person who spent thousands of dollars wasting money that can help you get your business started where you don't have to go through the pitfalls everything is not shared on this channel I will never share with my vendors on this channel why I don't share my vendors because I still need to be able to access those vendors so by me doing the um, calls with people when I do the Zoom call or I do it on my, you know, you get my phone number. Some people call me on my iPhone and, you know, that's just, it's just basically it gives you more access to me. Um, in the inbox, it is not going to work. I'm telling you, I get people in my inbox all day long asking me questions and I'm like, look, I have four children. I have a busy schedule. I have a business that I'm running. I have several businesses that I'm running. So I cannot sit in the, the DMs and just keep going back and forth with a person. I would rather you schedule 30 minutes of your time and my time, and it would change the direction of your business. I sell, I sell fragrance. So I'm going to tell you where to get your fragrance at for cheap. I'm going to tell you how to order your wicks. I'm going to tell you where to go to get your jars. I'm going to tell you how can you avoid candle science shipping prices. I'm going to tell you so much. You're going to get so much information in 30 minutes that $45 is nothing you know only thing you're doing is paying for my time because of course time is money so I'm telling you guys this go ahead and click that link inside the description box schedule your session today all right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started listen the supply list goes as follows make sure you have your gel you need some ice cubes you need silicone mold ice cubes i got these off of amazon i will leave the link in the description box so you can get these guys listen also i want to tell you this before we go any further we also will be doing cinnabons we will be doing mini cinnabon candles i'm going to be doing this tonight mini cinnabons and we're going to be doing big boy cinnabon candles as well and you do not want to miss that so hit the subscribe button because that is going down tonight all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take our gel i got 10 ounces of gel you need six percent fragrance remember not 10 percent but six percent fragrance you're going to take your gel you're going to put it in your pot or you put it on your stove in a pot and you're going to heat the gel up 
to 200 degrees, guys. That's just as hot as you ever like hot. Like we're about to make some fish grease, y'all. We're about to fry some fish gel. All right, so I'm dropping it in my crock pot. And I'm gonna turn my crock pot. <laughs> I'm talking about, you can use your crock pot, you can use your presto pot, just remember, you have to put gel on straight direct heat. So I'm gonna warm mine up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And as I begin to do that, guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna monitor it. Cause remember, this is this is this is one of them candles that you really gotta pay attention to. Like you can't just put this wax on and walk off. Like you gotta pay attention, especially if you add fragrance, because this gel will get on fire. Like this is why a lot of people do not use gel in their businesses because gel will catch a fire i'm using cd wicks you can use zinc core wicks or cd wicks but you definitely cannot use paper core you cannot use eco um oh it's already heating up really fast you cannot use eco you cannot use paper core you cannot use none of that stuff so you need nothing but zinc or cd guys i have to monitor this stuff i have to really be attentive i need it over here in my face this gel melts quick it's already at 115, 139, 153. Where we at? It's going up and down because I just turned the pot off. But I'm going to turn my pot back on warm. You have to monitor gel. Like, you cannot play with it. Because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our ice cubes out of it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just melting it down really quick. And remember, don't don't say, oh, I gotta wait till it cool off to put my fragrance in. No, that's not the way gel works. Like you gotta put your fragrance in the gel while it's still hot. Some of it will burn off. But remember, we're not, the, the gel can't, listen, when we make gel candles, gel candles is about a look. It's not about a hot throw. So when people buy gel candles, that's the first thing they go smell it. It may make it a good cold throw, but gel candles is not about a hot throw. They just to be cute. And I'm just telling you because that's that's all it's about. So we go ahead and we heat this up. We got to heat this up really, really good. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we are um, just getting this gel. It's so thick, so you just, you really have to be patient with it. And you got to sit here and you have to monitor the whole time. So this, I'm just going to speed up. This is fire! <laughs> yes, get it done! All right! <laughs> So it's, we're just going to speed up this video a little bit and let this gel do its thing as it melt down, guys. Okay, guys, so you're going to have to fight with this gel a little bit just to get it to melt down. Like, And it's impossible to eliminate the bubbles. And to be honest with you, I actually like the bubbles inside of it because the bubbles give it more of a realistic uh, feel, if you ask me. Some people be like, how can I get the bubbles out? And I'd be like, the bubbles is cute to me, you know? I like it. So, you know, to each his own. But the, the highest I would want your gel to go up is 200 degrees. So, just go. And sometimes you got to cut the heat down a little bit. But you don't want to just take it too high because gel will. <laughs> you put that fragrance on, it, it's going to cut. It's going to be on fire. And I don't want no fires up in my house. So... I'm just gonna cut mine off. I'm gonna call it done because it got like a little bit of a lump still in it, like it's almost done. Mine's is 200 and yeah, see, I gotta turn it down. It's like 226. So it's 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 pretty much done. Mine's got like two little lumps in it, and 
I mean, it's just very small, like little teeny tiny lumps. So, I'm just getting those little, working out those little lumps. The lumps is actually small enough to even go inside the ice cube and be fine. So, I'm not even really going to worry about it. But it's up to, mine's is up to about, what, 225 right now? So, what I do is I typically look at the flash point of my fragrance just to see what the flash point is so I know I can use my fragrance with this flash point it's fine so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my fragrance I'm just trying to bring it down just a little bit more I don't want it to be so hot like unfortunately it has to be hot but I don't want it to be so freaking hot so I'm just trying to bring it down just a teeny 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 bit I never added my fragrance at 200 degrees so that to me that would just be a big big difference so i'm at 218 217 i'm trying to bring it down to at least like 200 to before i add my fragrance and i just got something inside my gel it's so ugly this right this darn gel is so different i mean it's to the point for me i feel like it's just really cool this is something new, so I, you know, I love trying out new things. The only thing I do is just, I just go, whenever you do new things, make sure you do your research. So, all right, I'm at 213, 212. Y'all, I'm just, I'm so scared of adding it while it's up at 208. Like, I'm trying to bring it down to at least 200. 200 is perfect for me. 200 is so good. And I would love to use my little pouring pot, but... It's just not working out too, too well today, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it, but we at 207. 207 is not bad, 206, 204. I really want it to be 200, 200. Cause 200 is my sweet spot. All right, so we at 201. All right, where we at now? 200, we at 200. So I'm gonna add my fragrance at 200. I'm gonna turn my pot off. That's, this is the perfect time to turn your pot off. My fragrance is in there. I'm just moving it around, mixing it. All right, and now it's time to pour, pour, pour. Move quick, cause gel is thick and it will tighten up on you. So move quick, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just start pouring mines into the cavity. Pour your ice cubes right now. And I, I'm using the big ice cube thing, silicone mold. This one is huge. So, mines hold a lot of wax, but I'm not gonna use all of this wax. I'm just going to basically use a little bit. Uh, maybe like three cubes. It's probably going to be about three for me. All right. So. I'm going to probably need something to go inside the pot and scrape it. Because it's still a lot of gel still in the pot. Okay, so the gel is stuck. It's not moving no more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to warm it up just a little bit just to loosen it up. And... That way I can get it off the walls and stuff because it has it got it gets hard fast, y'all. This is different. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to basically go ahead and let your ice cube set for a little while inside the gel and let it get hard. It's gonna be a while. Just let it sit there and solidify. After it's solidified, then we can go ahead. But what you can do now in the meantime, you can go ahead and get your soy or your parasoy or whatever you're going to use for your drinks. We're going to go ahead and get that inside the pot and we're going to get that going. And that way we can have that melted down and we can start doing stuff to our cup. Uh, be ready for something awesome, guys. All right. All right. So now we are on to the second part. I had to let my uh, silicone, not silicone, <laughs> I said silicone. 
I've been making silicone molds too, but I had to let my gel sit overnight because this gel did not come out of the ice tray. Like I tried to take it out in an hour and it was just like real gooey and stuck. So I realized that you have to let this thing like really cure because it may look like it's done. It may look like it's ready for war, but it's really not. So right now what I have going on is I have my, um, okay, it's 218, I gotta turn that off. I have my wax sitting in the pot. Now it's cooling down. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these out of the ice cube tray. So I'm taking these out of the ice cube tray. You just gotta go ahead and just pop them out. They may not look as cute as you know they would you would want them to look when they come out. Cause that's what I realized that I did mess up a little bit. So you just Pop them out. It don't matter. They're going to be inside the soy wax or parasoil, whatever you're using. So you just really need the form. You really don't need it to be perfect. Because these are, this one right here I'm pulling out, this one is a hot mess. So, but we still just need it to just be a square. So, it's coming down a little bit. Guys, I'm almost uh, six feet. <laughs> I'm very tall. So, I'm pulling these out. I'm probably not going to need all of it, but I'm going to use as much as possible. Because one thing you want to do is you want to give it that real ice cube look going all throughout the... Because some people just use the ice cubes at the top. I prefer for it to be all throughout the candle because it gives it a, a real drink look. Like if you want it to look like a drink like how mine's is, then you want to have ice cubes all throughout. Okay, so this is cooling down. I got this down to about... 209 and it's actually too hot i never let my wax get that hot and at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and because i'm using nine ounces i'm going to pour 0.9 ounces of fragrance for my soy 0.9 ounces of fragrance for my soy and i'm going to use two different fragrances today i'm mixing my fragrances i'm going to use like an orange cream and I'm using like a I'm using like a, a orange cream and I'm using vanilla so I'm using two fragrances that's that's what I like to do typically that's exactly what I like to do I like to mix myself so I'm gonna use about of the orange I'm gonna use about 0.5 of that and for the rest of it because my vanilla is powerful it is strong it is mighty I'm gonna use more vanilla then, because um, that's what you have to do whenever you mix the fragrance, you know a company that's not as strong as the other company, you want to make sure that you use more of the stronger one, you know, than the weaker one, okay? So, you want to go ahead and pour... Alright, I'm at point seven, eight. Point nine. Okay, so I did point nine, and just make sure you give it a little, you know, just like if it was a little drinky drink, you know, you know, you go ahead and you, and it smells really good. Like it smells like, you know those popsicles, like orange cream popsicles, that's what it smells like. So at this point, what you wanna do is you wanna actually make it look like ice cubes. So this is what you do. You go ahead and you slice these in half because if you order the silicone mold that I order, I'm very cheap. So I ordered the five dollar silicone mold. It was just five dollars, like four or something, and that's how much it was. And it's two of them that come, and that's the way I am. Like I try to save a lot of money. So you, these are some big cubes. They big. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna slice them. You can slice them in fours. You can slice them in threes. However you prefer to do it. Me, I'm gonna slice mine in fours. And at the very top, I'm gonna leave like the long length ones at the very top like the ones i'm gonna show you a little better than i can tell you because this is the ones that i want to show at the top like right here like i want that at the top so i'm gonna cut that right here i'm cutting them in fours and this like these this side you want to say that side for the top these so it's gonna look a little weird at the top i want it to really look like ice cubes so this goes at the bottom. The raggedy looking ones, you just kind of float those to the bottom. Probably not going to need all of this. I filled up two two trays for one one candle, but I'm not going to. I'm definitely not going to need all of this. 
Definitely not. I'm just going to use just a little bit of it. And because it's, you really don't. Like for this candle, I probably used about four ice cubes, which was pretty good. So. I had to get that glare from the back of us because we had to have the best quality, okay? So right now I'm letting my wax cool down. It's, it's to about 185 degrees. I really like for my wax to get down to about 150 degrees before I add my fragrance. Guys, I've been doing this for a long time. And one thing I realized about fragrance is when it's really, really hot, it burns off. So I like for my stuff to come all the way down. So during that time, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and start preparing your cup. Now inside this cup, you see it's already orange because I've already been, you know, doing my little work in here. I want you to go ahead and take it, take your knife after you done cut your cubes. Because remember, you don't want color on the knife that's going to go on to the cubes. So you just kind of take some slices of your dye block or if you use a liquid, you know, put a little bit inside your cup of liquid. To me, in this kind of project, I would prefer a dye block. I would. It's, it, to me, it just really, it makes more sense to use a dye block than the liquid because the liquid sometimes like if you don't have like a pound and you apply a drop then the color will be off like not slightly it will be off so just pour you a little bit of wax from this batch be smart unplug your pretzel pot <laughs> pour you a little bit of wax inside this cup just a little I would say less than an ounce. Just pour it in there, start mixing it around, or get you a little spoon or a fork or something that you don't plan on using again, and just mix it around, because you want it to turn orange. And you see it's turning orange. Um, if you can see it inside the cup, I don't know if you can see, but it is, it's orange in the cup. It kind of look like, you want to give it to the, the sun kiss look. You want it to look like sun kiss, not yellow. You want it to look like sun kiss, like a soda, like a drink. And so you take that and you start basically destroying your cup, making it look ugly. Just start pouring it all into your cup like that. I actually want it to be a little bit darker. This is fairly on the light side. So you want to do it while the wax is still hot because it'll melt like that. But if the wax is um, cooled down, you definitely, you in trouble. I don't want it to look like an orange juice. I want it to look like an orange drink. So it's a big difference. So I'm adding a little bit more shavings in here. I'm gonna mix it around. And if it don't dissolve, then that means that the wax has cooled down too much. And so you're gonna have to hit it with a heat gun to heat it up. And mine is, it's getting dark. It's dissolving, it is. Just kind of mix it around. It will melt if your wax is hot. If it's not, you know, you know, you'll know. Okay. So if you still see like a little bit of trimmings in there, take your heat gun, kind of blast it with your heat gun a little bit. And it'll heat it back up more. That's the only way to really melt color is with heat. You can't melt the color without the heat. All right, so it's, it's darker for me now. So what you do is you start pouring it in here, kind of destroying. Another thing I learned that sometimes you can take your your wick and you can dip your wick inside of gel. You can dip it inside gel and it burns a little bit different as well. So that's another little technique that you can do. If you find yourself having problems with the burning, you don't want to wick up, you know, so I did this. I just pretty much poured it all around here. As you can see, I just poured it and then just be messy, pour it all in the bottom, pour it around the cup. Just you know, just kind of make a mess. Try to make a mess. Just pour it all around the cup because when you see what I'm about to do, it's all going to make sense. All right. So I'm going to test my temperature again. Are we down to 155? 155 is pretty good for me to pour a fragrance in. So I'm just going to pour my fragrance in at 155. And stir it around. Make sure you get your two minutes stir. Do not go. Listen, I'm telling you, it's very important that you stir your wax in your fragrance for two minutes if you don't stir it for two minutes usually what i do is i use my whisk because my whisk kind of speed it up i don't have to really do it for two minutes 
it binds a little quicker this way. So you just stir it up, stir it up. Listen, I got a pouring pot. A lot of people ask me that question. I have a pouring pot, but I don't use my spouse. So if you want to go to Walmart and buy you a little presto pot, like I got a, I got a presto pot. I don't use the spout. If you want to go to Walmart and get one and just take out the little fry part, that's good. Because I do not use the spout at all. Period. I don't use it for nothing. So that's, you know, like a lot of people come into the game. You don't have $100 to spend on a presto pot. You don't have $75 to spend on a presto pot, pot, but you do have $30. Go and take that $30 and go and get you a presto pot from Walmart, okay? All right. So that was just a little bit of uh, free information for my friends. All right, so what we're doing is we're pretty much just pouring this in here. And we're not going to pour our, our wax cubes in there, guys. I want you to hear me on that. We do not pour our wax cubes in there. We pour the wax in first. Because once you start applying heat, you don't want your gel to get in cahoots. Now... This is not like as orange as I would want it to be. Like yesterday I made it, I made it very, very orange. This is not as orange, but it's still gonna come out nice. So it doesn't matter if you don't get it as dark as you want it to get, it's still gonna come out nice because remember, the wax was not mixed together with the color. So it's not gonna just come out as one color. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, we didn't put the color inside the wax inside the pot. So, it's still going to come out a cool color anyway. So, what you're doing is you're pretty much pushing this color down inside the cup. Then you want to take your, you know, your heat gun and just go around. Because remember, you put lines. Me, I'm actually going to leave them lines on there because it gave it more of a definition. So, now what you do is, I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see it. Because I, I don't already saw this already. Put your cubes in. Go ahead and put your cubes in. Yep, go ahead and put your cubes in. Remember, save the long ones for last. I just put a long one in there and I made a, a boo-boo. That was a boo-boo. So go ahead and put your cubes in. It's going to fill your cup up. So if you did not, you if you are making this candle for the first time, you do not have to use, like let's say normally you use nine ounces for the cup. You don't have to do that. Like you don't have to use 10. Just go down at least one ounce because the, with the, what the wax cubes is going to do is it's going to push it up to the top. So you don't need all of that. So actually you just gonna have to, you're gonna have to use less. Less is best. So I'm pushing this down, but it's rising up to the top. So the last little thing I wanna do is I wanna take these long ones and just kind of put those in there because it gives it more of a realistic feel. And and my wax is, it, I mean, it's already up to the top. So I might have to pour some off. I am. So guys, don't make that mistake. I'm going to have to pour some off. And what I'm going to do is to always have you like a little mini handy. So you can make, this is how I, listen, my best, mis my mistakes is always the greatest. I make mistakes, but they be like a blessing because people be like, oh my God, that's a beautiful candle. They don't know that it came from a beautiful mistake. It came from a beautiful mistake. So I'm going to funnel this into here because I don't want to make too much of a mess. That should be good. The more wax you put in there, the more it's gonna come up to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this last little cube in there. And it looks really nice. I would have loved to get more wax down at the bottom, but I think this is good enough. This, this is pretty good. If I can get one more little sexy cube in there, I'm gonna do it at the top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one more. I'm gonna try to get this one more in there. I got it. Yes, it's at the top. Okay, so make sure you pull your wick up. Now, you might not be able to see your wick like that, and if that happens, you're gonna have to take some more wax and pour it off, because this is this is my boo-boo, but I invite you guys in on my boo-boo because I wanna just show y'all the perfected part of it. I wanna show y'all the whole shebang. I want y'all to see my boo-boos, my mistakes too, because that's how you'll learn. You know, we all, we learn like for real. This is real life, we really learn from our mistakes. So this is how high up I put this or whatever. Um, if I want a little bit more, I'm gonna press a little bit more gel down into it, and it gives it more definition. Like, it, it really makes it look real when you add more ice cubes to the top and you bring it up more. So that's it, um, as you can see, and it's, it's cooling off. I got my ice cube just sitting out at the top. I wanna add like one more over here. Now remember, the more you add, the more you're gonna make it float to the top. So the next time I make this cup, I'm not gonna make nine ounces of wax, I'll probably make about seven or six, 
because it's you know it's, as you can see it's spilled over so when i finish doing this i'm gonna have to clean up a little bit but it's beautiful so it's finished guys as you can see i put wax on the bottom so it gives it more of a look when it's on the bottom and i'm gonna like the way to clean up the cup to be honest with you is to just take some windex and clean it up most of the time what i do is i take a heat gun and i get it wet wet and then i clean it up that way but it's finished it's 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 finished it's pretty you got to give it some time for it to really get the good the good color going like you you have to give it some time give it some time but it looks beautiful as you can see and i got all my little wax cubes at the top floating up remember next time less wax is the best wax we're gonna do it that way and still you see i got all this gel left over so this you could have actually got two cups out of this but i only needed to make one because i'm gonna make one for you guys i already made one yesterday and this is another way to kind of test burn your fragrance just to see if your fragrance is strong like i said I had these little minis handy and i was pouring into this mini so now only thing i had to do with this mini is I leave this mini for two, a day and come back and I test it. I test the fragrance throw. I test the fragrance throw with these little things. And I told you guys those things are four for a dollar. Um, it was good working with you guys today. Remember to subscribe for more videos. This is not the end. I will be back again. I have four videos planned. This is the second one. So I have two more videos to do, guys. Um, hit the subscribe button. Remember, if you want to book that 30 minutes with me, you can go ahead and at the inside the description box, there is a link that says book, you know, for coaching. And that way you can get your one-on-one -on -one time with me and you can ask me all the questions in the world and i hold no secrets i hold no secrets I only hold secrets on the channel because i wanted to control what is dispersed to all these people so we can still be able to get our supplies and it won't be like that situation with Anne's craft modes where it had to go on back order so guys i love you hit the subscribe button and i will see you again soon all right